Harry, do you want to kind of talk about how you decided to pursue film and television and why editorial? I think the reason that I chose editing was um, when I made the decision at 31, I was like, okay, what aspect of filmmaking do I love? Definitely editing, because um, it was such a fascinating process for me. And also, what is something that I can maybe make a living at the fastest to assuage some of my guilt in <laughs> finally choosing this path? And um, and I thought, okay, well, if, since I have a background in technology, and since like it's a little bit less glamorous position, and therefore maybe you know easier to hire for than directing or producing or writing or something like that, um, uh, this seems like the perfect molding uh, of those things. But also kind of psychologically though, um, my therapist that I spoke to um, asked me what kind of, how was I creative? And she said, um, <clears throat> and I described to her like, I may not come up with the, you know, the ideas for a story, but I'm so good and so enjoy the process when somebody comes to me uh, with a story idea or something of like, of like molding it or refining it or giving them advice and notes and things like that. Um, and uh, I'm really collaborative in that way and nurturing in that way. And she helped me see that that kind of creativity, that kind of collaborative creativity was something that I should value and not diminish um, just because it's not sort of uh, generative that it's more collaborative. It's something that maybe it was almost a, a kind of like Western prejudice that I had that in order to be an artist, you needed to be, um, you know, Picasso painting alone in a room, right? Rather than working alongside people and nurturing um, someone else's vision. And that really helped me to embrace like, okay, I have to sort of get out of the, you know, the box that I was in as far as like, what does it mean to live an artistic creative life and really embrace the, the role that we play as editors. And I think that really helped me uh, both to make that practical decision and to then also to sort of change my thinking and my heart as far as like what I value in terms of uh, being an artist. And uh, I think those two things set me up for the next 20 years in Los Angeles.